Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today we're going to talk about another trick box. And this trick box here is called the Oval Office. It's made completely out of laser cut wood, has a pretty cool and interesting design, and is produced or manufactured by the company Konstantin in Germany. And when we hear the company name Konstantin, we already know that this trick box here has probably some kind of a very interesting or unique solution, which is usual for these Constantine puzzles. So, and I can tell you already, it's a pre pretty cool puzzle. It's um, not, I would rate it, the difficulty I would rate with a three out of a maximum of five. So it's not super difficult, but also not too easy to solve. And one another good thing is the compartment here inside is nearly completely um, usable to put something inside. It will not block the mechanism. And also the design is pretty cool. It's completely made out of laser cut wood glued together and just one metal piece up here. What was also interesting for me is that I found it in several shops around the world and I will link or put you the links to these shops in the video description. So if you would like to buy one, just check out these links. As usual for a trick box, there is not too much you can do. So what you can do is you can flip this upper piece here and there is another acrylic plate acrylic, made from acrylic, acrylic glass here with the name Oval Office and a small hole up here. But that's it basically. There is also here this cover of the compartment, but you cannot take it out. It's blocked and locked, of course. And um, if you shake it, there's a lot of things going or moving inside here. So it's guaranteed as usual for Constantine. This is an interesting one. So if you would like the solution, just check out the video after the spoiler break. And if not, if you would like to get it yourself, I can really recommend it to get this one. Then do not watch the video after the spoiler break. As I previously said, there are not too many things from first point of view that can be discovered. You can flip the cover here. You maybe are able to get a small look here inside between these gaps, which is very tiny and also it's dark inside, so it won't really help you to understand the mechanism. Another detail is this small hole up here, so it must have something to do with the solution. Also, the, this plate here is made out of acrylic glass, and this is probably that you can have a look at this hole. Well, there's also small free play here on the top, which doesn't really help me in the beginning. And if I flip it around and look inside of this hole, let me just zoom in a bit that you can see it. At one point, you will see that there is some kind of a bearing ball or something visible, exactly in this position, nowhere else. And if I now take the puzzle and flip it around exactly in this position, so I block the upper piece, flip it around, and then I twist it a bit, like this, I will catch the bearing ball in this position. And if I move it around, there will nothing happen and it will drop again in the same hole. But let me just get it out again. Another detail that changes when the bearing ball is out is that I can for some reason shift the cover a little bit more as before. Maybe about five millimeters more than before. And when I move it now to the new position, this was the previous or the initial position, when I move to, to this position and flip it around, something will happen to the bearing ball. It will drop over here somewhere. You can see it moving a little bit up and down. And if I'm at the wrong, uh, right position, it will drop over here. There seems to be a hole or something. And then I move it back to the previous position. Just hold it a little bit tilted like this. Move it to the previous position and I will discover another bearing ball. So, well, let's get this out again. And this is actually the most difficult on this puzzle to understand that there are multiple bearing balls inside and they need to be moved in different positions to be able to uh, open up this puzzle. So I move it. To now to a different position. The hole that was over here where the other bearing ball is inside, this one is full now. So I will move it over here 
And then I will move it all the way over here to the right because now we have even more free players as before, about 10 millimeters. So I move it over here and it will drop. And then I move to the same position as before again. And there is a third bearing ball, a wonder. So we get this one out and we move it again at the same position as the previous one over here. And it will drop also inside there. And if you are in this position, we can move the cover all the way to the side and open up the puzzle. And it will, it will reveal the compartment inside. And actually, if you ask me, this puzzle looks incredibly beautiful. So if you would like to give someone a present with a very nice box, then check out this one or maybe for a wedding or something. This looks amazing, yeah? It looks pretty, pretty cool. Much cooler in reality as in the video. And how did it work? Well, if you see this, it's very difficult to understand. Therefore, I will disassemble it now and then explain you in detail how the mechanism behind of this thing works. So, and this is what the single parts look like, okay? We have here two washers and a screw, the shaft, the metal shaft, and we have this piece here, which is the cover of our compartment, three bearing balls, and this plate here, which is some kind of a locking plate for our compartment. So, in locked condition, we are in this state over here. Let's see, like this, and the two bearing balls inside here. And we are not able to move the compartment or well, let's say the locking plate here below to unlock the puzzle this locking plate here below needs to be aligned with this radius here so it needs to be shifted from here to here and then we can open up the cover and lift it both of these locking plate and this piece here through these gaps these notches here and open the puzzle up so what we did with our movements is the following. We moved the first bearing ball out of the puzzle, okay? So these two stay inside. The first bearing ball will drop down and drop up here in this hole, which is covered by the plate so it cannot come out. And then we start to spin it. And at this moment, we already realized that we have some free play here. We spin it and we dropped it in this hole. Then we took care about the second bearing ball. Oh, this is difficult here. <laughs> if the second bearing ball is out in this hole here, we are able to spin again and we are we can shift further as we or more than before. And this time I need to take it out. I flip and I need to shift and then I can drop it here on the other side. That's it. Very simple but necessary to move it one step further. And now the the puzzle is nearly aligned. It's about in this condition because it's only blocked here by one bearing ball. And when this one comes out and I drop it over here, or I can also leave it inside of this hole. If I do it like this, then I will be able to move the locking plate and align it all the way over here with the cover. And in this condition, it is possible to move it up and open the puzzle up. If the locking plate is over here, it's blocked. If it's all the way over here, we can open it, okay? So it's a, I would not call it a simple mechanism. It's, it's a pretty cool idea, actually. And also it's working flawless, yeah? But it's tricky to understand how it works. So I will just put this thing again together and then I will show you how to lock it. Okay, so mechanism is reassembled and this is the unlock condition and the more I shift the locking plate over here, the, the more it gets locked. Okay, so I put it in unlock condition and then I will just put the cover on top of here like this. 
Now I will start with the first ball from over here this time. I will just search for it and if I find it, I will um, block the plate, move it upside down and try to catch the ball behind the acrylic glass plate. Okay, now here we go. I move it all the way over here to the left side and drop it on the other side. And as soon as I did this, the puzzle is already locked again. I cannot take it out anymore or the cover off. Now I continue with the second one and I just locate it as before, block it and then flip it over. And then it should be, if you do it correct, it should be catched behind the acrylic glass plate over here. And if you do it wrong, you need several tries. <laughs> okay, that should do the job. Now I drop it on the other side again, same as the one before. And then I take the last one out of here, out of this hole, the storage hole. Align it, flip it around and drop it in the same notch. And now it's completely locked again. The free play is nearly removed and that's it. Puzzle is solved, opened and closed. And maybe I gave you some idea for your next cool present for a friend or for your loved ones. If you like this cool puzzle as much as I do, just leave a like, comment below. And you can also hit the bell if you would like to get informed about future episodes. And also you can join, of course, my Facebook and Instagram channels. So until next time, keep on puzzling.